It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Don't forget to check out w.gg and use the promo code SLEEPYBOYS for 10% off your order. Continue. You look like you're good. I'm trying. Oh, God, I've had the soupiest of farts today. Oh, God, I was going to make a joke about you ripping ass, but... Is that what that expression looked like I was doing? Yes, it did. That's exactly what was happening, man. Exactly. It honestly looked happening. like you were just like, you know what, I'm going to shit my pants, I don't <clears throat> care. It sounded like I did. Uh, I will say, we I did not hear it on my end. I know you didn't hear it, but the fucking recording system sure did. <laughs> Oh, did it? Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> so. Yep. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Dude, this has been a... I'll say, this has been a fucking productive week, man, for us. Oh, that's great. Like... It's gonna really suck when you get a job again and we start noticing our numbers drop. That's why I'm putting so much fucking work in it, is trying to get this shit done ahead of time. Uh, so that way we have shit lined up. The nice thing is, once I get my new computer and I'm able to just record gameplay stuff on my end, yeah. you won't have to do as much. I like the game. You see, the, the thing is, is yes, it's going to make things better, but at the same time, I mean, it's in like, the sense, I mean, in you're like taking the sense of all the bad, you're taking away all my favorite stuff. Like, oh, Mark, well, don't worry about playing the games. We'll handle that part. You just no, make I sure mean, you keep. I editing. mean, like. No, no, no. I mean, like, in the sense of, like, you don't have to play every single time. I like playing all the time. I know, but this way we can, you know, we can carry the load together. <laughs> Share the load. Share I, the load. I totally did that when I was playing Fallout yesterday. <laughs> or not that, uh, the day before I was, like, you've played Fallout 4, right? Uh, I know of it. Okay. I personally haven't played it, but I, I've watched people who have. Oh, so the first thing that happens when you're playing that game is like after, you know, after you go down to the vault, get stuck in there, uh, there's a, uh, you come across the bridge out of your, like your hometown to go like explore. And mm -hmm. there's just a, a dead body and a dead dog that like two people that like, like a person fought the dog to the death. And I was like, right, right. <laughs> and I was like, man, I should really clean up these dead bodies. So I pick them up. It's like, but I can carry you. Let's go, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, but no, like in a sense of like we can like we can have nights where I get to sleep you know, a little bit. And... Yeah, exactly. We can play games. And you don't have to. I like unless you want. I mean, as long as you, if you want to, you're always welcome to. <laughs> but this way. It doesn't solely fall on you to be like, all right, guys, so I'm going to be the one playing the game. I've got to be good at every game, which is, you know, scientifically. Which is so funny because you're not good at any of them. That's such bullshit, and you know it. <laughs> I, I hate I hate that that is the running joke on the show is that I'm bad at video games. I'm bad at some video games. I mean, I, you're bad at most. I excel at several. <laughs> it's just it's the games that I play with you that I'm bad at. That's all. Oh, that I mean, that's... I think I, I, was, mean, I was looking at the games that we've played. I think statistically speaking, the games that Jeff plays, I do the worst at. Or the games that Jeff shows up for, I do the worst at. Uh, is that because Jeff's around and you feel like you don't have to put in as much effort? I don't think so. I think it's more so that I pick the games that I don't know how to play when I'm around Jeff. Okay. Uh, other, But, you know, the most of the time I pick Whoa. games I can beat pretty easily. Hold on, you've played games with me that you're like, well, I've never fucking played this, but we're going to see how it goes. Yeah, and I usually do okay. Yeah. Like, if we're looking, if we're looking statistically... Like Van Helsing, you killed it. <laughs> fucking shit. This Our isn't viewers. even, like, we're not even Happy dealing with vampires. We're just de is... dealing with Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. You're not even dealing with Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. You're dealing with trying to move. You're dealing with a Fuck. room. <laughs> I'm dealing with janky fucking controls, man. You might as well be Steve Clark. Wiseau because this is, or Tommy Wiseau because this is the room and you are losing <laughs> and everything's awful here. 
Uh, fuck I've you. I've never seen anybody once play Van Helsing so well before. I've never looked into You know, most Van people Helsing. would just beat the level and move on, but you were like, nah, man, I'm a perfect... <laughs> That's, I've got to do this 18,000 times. That's not what happened, though. That's not even close to what happened. I know. I just like that narrative. God. I like the narrative that I, I just want to show everyone how good I am. Um, Man, would you look how good I am? Yeah. I know that I have to hit the A button right here, but I'm not going to because I want you to see. I, I did want you to see button. what happened. I did hit the A button. It's just a shitty game. It was a poorly designed game. I mean, it wasn't a good game. It was a terrible game. Let's see. Can okay. we talk about how that game, not just the game, but that movie and then A League of Extraordinary Gentlemen came out around the same time. And both of them are huge and, disappointments. And both of them, they had too many similarities and both flopped. I still personally loved both of them. I, I want to make that very clear. I completely agree i loved the van helsing movie i also really liked league of extraordinary gentlemen i didn't know that it sucked until i was older i think one of the best jokes i've ever done on family guy was when they go to that amusement park and they're like all right who's ready for league of extraordinary gentlemen the roller coaster man that movie was hyped up more than it let out to be <laughs> oh god where's jazz she's coming she's just doing some stuff real quick Wow. But I had said I would come in here and uh, set up everything, and it usually takes me longer to get the computer to turn on, but since it was still plugged in, it was fine. Cool. Cool, cool, man. This laptop sucks. It's la that laptop's on its last leg, isn't it? It sure is. The trackpad barely works since... Uh... You know what? This computer was fine until Chris spilled alcohol on it. You know, I could say the same thing about my computer, and when you spelt that... that uh cool crisp refreshing austin east ciders on it i forgot about that funny shit man funny that was so great i love that we beat the shit out of that austin east ciders dude those it's nice cool crisp refreshing you cannot get good cider here. austin east it. cider there you know what the problem is and this is why i like austin east cider so much it's dry yeah it's not overly sweet. They have sweet ones. If you want sweet, that's fine. They have them. It's a droid. But every time, every time I get a cider, I immediately drink it. I'm like, this is going to give me a headache. Uh -huh. I am going to have a headache. Uh huh. Like the same way that like any time I drink, if I were to drink a Mike's Hard Lemonade, I'm like, I'm going to throw up. Uh, this is going to make me throw up tonight. <laughs> yep. I'm going to wake up with the worst hangover of my life. Why? Because I had a drink of Mike's Hard Lemonade. I do like me some Mike's Hards. I haven't had one in so long because the last one I had when I woke up from the worst hangover of my life. I'm like, you know what? I don't need to drink these anymore. Yeah, that's fair. Also, because if I'm not drinking whiskey or a beer, I'm drinking like seltzer. I just don't drink much anymore. That's all. That's just the crazy thing. Oh, give it time. You act like you're like five years older than me, dude. You're like less than a year older than I am. No, I mean, just give it time when you're back here in Austin. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you're not drinking as much because you're not around people who drink. No, that's not true. Raji drinks a lot. Not a lot, a lot, but like he drinks. Oh, wow, way to call Raji out like that. Fucking call him a goddamn alcoholic, you piece of shit. Also, I live in a college dorm. Kids are drinking all the time. Yeah, but that's not when you want to drink. You want to be the old dude with a group of like people who are questionably 21. Hey, guys, how's, how's everyone doing? You got, you got a drink over there? I don't wanna... The best part about that story is if you're not you and you're the other students who get to then tell stories about be careful. Because if you if things don't go in your life too well, you'll end up like Mark over there. And then you're just like <laughs> picking Lynn out of your belly button and like, oh, man, sure do love these sour watermelon Mike's Hard Lemonades. You know, I used to drink these all the time until my wife left me. And now I'm in this college dorm with you. And then you get right up in their face, licking their lips. <laughs> licking I lick their lips. lips. I, I no, get up no, in their no, face, no. lick their lips. <laughs> God. It'll be like the Dalai Lama telling that kid to suck your tongue. Oh my God! Can we? Uh, ugh. <laughs> oh, that's rough. That's a rough one. 
Okay, just because to, to satisfy my own curiosity, I have beaten 52 games on this channel. 52. I love... Not related to this at all, but Jasmine just in the kitchen, as soon as you're like, I have beaten 52 games on this podcast, I hear Jasmine in the background go, no! <laughs> and just, <laughs> Hold on, I left something out. Oh, you dumb bitch. Boy, howdy, crazy how these two motherfuckers can't seem to get these shit together. Sometimes something beautiful happens in this world. You don't know how to express yourself, so you just gotta sing. And I just had sex. And it felt so good, and the woman put her penis inside of me. Wait. No, that's not right. A woman let me put my penis inside of her. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nothing bad will ever happen. It'll be fine. Are you mocking Chris? That sounds like you're mocking Chris. It does sound like I'm mocking Chris, doesn't it? I mean, there's nothing inherently Chris about that voice either. It just sounds like something Chris would it just, say. I've heard him say, it'll be fine. Yeah. All the time. Hey, Chris, you just got electrocuted trying to rewire some shit. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, man. It'll be fine. I mean, I'm fine. I'm not dead. Yeah, God, that was fucking rough. He electrocuted himself two times that time that day. Oh, yeah, he did. Dude, fucking this gas is killing me. I mean, man, like you know, it does. I'm just glad I'm not there. The thing is, is it's not. It doesn't smell bad. It's just, it's offensive to listen to. Defensive. Offensive. Okay. Because like it's one of those that sounds like it's gonna smell terrible, but it doesn't actually. Oh shit! I'm gonna turn my I light mean, on. I mean, that's better than the opposite where you fart and you're like, oh no. When you fart and you tell you, you have to tell your dad on your way to a, a jazz game basketball thing that you shit your pants? Yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that, not planning on doing that again. Eh. Eh. <sighs> Fuck. Somebody we've been I've I've been streaming a lot the last couple of weeks. Fuck. Yeah, I can't imagine Ugh. why. It's not it's like just, you've got all this free time. You know, you make it sound like it's a terrible thing that I got fired. It's not. No, oh, I wasn't saying it was a terrible thing. I was just being funny. You're a fucking, you're a fucking dildo, man. And I I'm, wish I was. To be clear, that's not me saying you're a dildo, comma man. I'm saying you are a man made out of dildo. Hmm. Worst superpowers you can possibly have. No. That's not the worst superpower you can have. I still say the worst superpower you can have is that kid that can't control when he blows up. No, I kind of like that. Because nice. it's going to be like fucking awesome one time. <laughs> and like people will be, I mean, I was going to say people will be talking about that forever. But then I guess if you ran into a, a dildo man, he, oh, you'd be talking about you that You would also while. be talking about that for. You're going to see it in your dreams. It's not going away. You're going to be like, damn, girl. I saw this dildo guy, and he's just stuck in my head. Well, why don't you just go fuck the dildo man? That's what you always wanted, is to fuck that dildo man. And then I like that you did that voice, and it, it sounded like a male upset version of your Stephen Hawking voice. I was doing the Dane Cook bit where he's talking about fucking a mannequin. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's what you want. You just want to go fuck that mannequin. I'd rather fuck the mannequin. That's all I've ever wanted is to fuck that mannequin. Huh. I guess I did forget to put up that we were streaming today. That sucks. What? For everybody else? No, 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 no. Um, I forgot to put a, a an announce like, on our Facebook page that I was streaming today. Because I've been trying to do it every day that I stream. Um, did you lock on the I door? sure didn't. I'm going to do that real quick. And I I worked really hard on our on the cover for today's episode. It was sad. Aww. What? Mark was telling a story. That was sad. Yeah. Mark just fills everyone with pathos because he's so pathetic. Brandon dead bolted the door earlier. Mm. You dead bolted a door, Brandon. Shame on you. What? <laughs> You dead bolted that door. Yeah, I wanted to fuck on the couch, and I didn't want to run the risk of Chris coming home. You know what? That is completely valid. I 
I, I appreciate that you took the time to make sure that he didn't uh, have to walk in on that. Uh, yeah. Well, so one, we, we have one of those uh, electronic deadbolts, which you just type in your code to it. And I was like, well, I don't want Chris to just be able to, you know. So I, I <laughs> even if the door's locked, he could still come in. So I was like, you know, he doesn't have a key to the house. So I'll just lock the regular door. And even if he tries to unlock it, he can't get in. Fair, so. fair and valid. Okay. And I didn't want to text him to just be like, hey, man. Because I also knew he wouldn't be home anytime soon. But same time, plans change. He could just show up and then, you know, walk in on some hot dicking. Didn't that happen to Jeff one time when he went over to Matt and Shannon's house? He sure did. Oh, God. Didn't know about that. I want to talk. I want to go in. Use the restroom real quick. You bitch. What? Just get a jar under your desk like everyone else. Ow. Sorry. I'm I'm not trying to. Jasmine, that boy's a mess. You're telling me. I love with him, I know. I love the the blue hair you've got going. Make I I I'm thinking about redying my hair blue. Thank you. Um so when I first did it, uh it was a color called shade and it was like a deep I thought it was going to be more like a grayish blackish color. Yeah. But it definitely had like undertones of blue. Right. But I was like, I was like, okay, cool. So it looked like a really dark denim. Okay. And it uh, yeah. Was really cool. Um, and my hair decided to just cling on to the fucking blue. And this was uh, back in October. I want to say. That's fair. I. <laughs> my I mean my and hair it just. Faded to the teal color. I mean I think the teal works for you. I remember the first time I dyed my hair blue, it, it was like, it was like electric blue. Yeah. And I got home from work that night and some bitch I lived with at that time got really mad that I dyed my hair blue without consulting with her first. That's dumb. A lot of things about that relationship was dumb. I don't know if you know that or not. I'm aware. Yeah. But it's okay. Well, it's okay. I'm... You know, I'm at a completely different point of my life at this point. Oh, yeah. You live, you learn, you grow, you make changes. Hopefully don't make the same mistakes twice. <laughs> yeah. You start making the same mistake over. Gwen, that was great. Oh, my God. Gwen, protect the house. Kill. Funny thing is, if somebody actually were to burst in, she would run away but continue barking the whole time, but she would never advance at somebody. That sounds now, about right. Bucky, Bucky, on the other hand, if he felt like someone was threatening his mama, I guarantee he'd go for the throat. Is he in there with you guys? Uh, I don't know where he went. Oh. He. He's funny little boy. He's probably not that far. Oh yeah, he's he's laying in the hallway, right around the corner. <laughs> oh. And if sister's barking, I will lay and protect. I protect mother. Mm-hmm. But he's also been really clingy lately. I get that. That's how um, my sister's dog gets really clingy with me. Mm-hmm. Well, and I think we go through periods where. Brandon's gone, and so then he's like really snuggled up with me. And then when Brandon gets back, he's like, "Yay, Daddy! <laughs> Play with me. Look at me." I caught him this morning um, hiding my phone under laundry and pillows. God, Brandon! Like my phone was sitting on my phone was literally sitting on the charger, and I wasn't paying attention to Bucky. And all of a sudden, I hear him scratching. And I look over, and he's on the bed, picking up, like, a it's, all the laundry on the bed was clean, but, like, picking up a clean uh, pillowcase and putting it over my phone and then shoving the pillow over on top of it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Too smart for his own good. He's like, I know this device means that you're not paying attention to me, so I'm gonna hide it. <laughs> Isn't yeah, that's completely fair. My roommate sometimes does that to me. <laughs> that's funny. Mm. I mean, Bucky will straight up walk up to somebody, and if they're sitting there on their phone and they're not paying attention to him when he's sitting there for like half of a second, and then he's like, okay, bam, swats it out of their hand. Happy birthday to the ground. <laughs> right? I threw it on the ground. I got motherfucking boss. They didn't say motherfucking boss. They should have, but they didn't. I signed up for a poll class that's a little more advanced than what I'm ready for. Yeah. Yeah, and I've got my second session tomorrow night. That'll be fun. It, it is fun. Um, and I think she realized, like, I'm a little over my head, but I don't want to I don't want to quit. And I think I'm just going to kind of do what I can to my abilities. Right. And, and work on my strength and my core. Well, that's good that you're that they recognize that. Is he taking a fat milky dump, do you think? Oh my god, sometimes he just sits there. On his phone? Mm hmm I have an idea. <laughs> you gonna text him? Jasmine is falling asleep <laughs> at the desk, bruh. <laughs> I can't keep her entertained at all. Is she just putting on an act when... The camera is turned on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did you you saw the uh, Mario movie, right? Yes. We uh, Brandon was asking if we could talk about it tonight, but I was like, J Angel hasn't seen it, and she'll be here very soon. So as soon as she gets here in in or in uh, Utah, I'm gonna take her to see it, and it's. Uh, I'm really excited for it. Very cool. It's it was it was really good. I also love all the love that Jack Black's getting. Oh my Jack Black was amazing. That was a perfect casting choice. Yeah. Hello, love. Just... Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh, all the best people are here. And Brandon <laughs> will be back. He's taking a fat dump. Ooh. He's been in there for a good 15 minutes already. <laughs> you should send him memes. It helps the movements. I, I actually messaged him. I said, Jasmine's falling asleep at the desk, bro. I can't keep her entertained at all. Is she like just putting up an act when the camera's turned on? <laughs> and he said, he said, what? And I was like, she looks so dead inside just having to be here with me. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say fuck Brandon. And we're going to just start recording just the three of us. Oh, the sleepy girls and you? Yeah. No, just the sleepy girls. It's cool. We're just, it's just us girls. I was going to say, it's us girls. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Were you saying okay oh. or hey? I thought you said hey. I said okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I said okay. I was like, I was... I'm ready to go. I was so excited to say hi to you. You said, hey, so nice, but it wasn't even a hey. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. That look right there means he's done with my shit. What? <laughs> what? What'd you say? Nothing. Nothing. Are you talking shit when I'm not listening? I'm going to I'm gonna be editing no, this later. No, you my lips. Yesterday was mine and Brandon's 10-year fuck anniversary. <laughs> Ooh. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, I'm sad that I can't day. keep that in. I, I would have, this the title of this I, episode could have been the 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 fuck anniversary. I just I just know that like on recording that somehow family is gonna get involved and you know. Oh please, the only uh, I don't even know if if your brother watches our our uh, gaming stuff. I know he listens to the podcast. I don't know about the gaming stuff though. That's true. I'm but... gonna congratulate Brandon. <laughs> I heard him in the other room. Why are you telling him that? <laughs> Brandon, Brandon gets he, he's such a prude sometimes. 
<laughs> that, that's not how I sound. <laughs> I don't sound like that at all. <laughs> I, I sound like Johnny Cash in his heyday. I saw, like, Johnny Cash reincarnated the other night. Was it Brandon singing because he's got the no. voice of an angel? No. Continue.